Historically, um, islands and you know, kind of coastal areas uh, tend to be more open, so it probably is in our blood. During its long history, Bahrain has always been a crossroad and a meeting place for traders. That interaction with a lot of ancient societies in the past have made now Bahrain this very special place of meeting. The tolerance with, with all kinds of religions, all kinds of nationalities, that's make it very rich. You can find people from all over the world. It's a very open-minded country in the sense that everyone coexists uh, very peacefully and amazingly here. It's just a really beautiful place to be. There's a lot of artists in Bahrain. There is a young generation, and there is an old, older generation. I think what makes us unique is that if you arrive into Bahrain, you are likely to be driven in your taxi by a Bahraini, to be checked into your hotel by a Bahraini, you'll have an interaction with the people of the country. Business friendly is not just a slogan. It's actually a aspiration that we challenge ourselves to live up to every single day. Geographical position belonging to, to the GCC are very strong advantages. We don't believe in zones for our businesses. Uh, we don't create a separate zone where that business can have certain privileges and ownership rights. We consider our whole country a zone. In the late 60s, we took on upon ourselves to diversify from oil, so we started our diversification program more than 40 years ago, and today we continue to do that. Any young Bahraini woman who is looking to draw inspiration can just look all around her. There are women on boards, women who run family businesses, who are ambassadors, ministers. We have a very high level of education in Bahrain. This has created a tech savvy population that are always demanding for the latest technology. I see there's a lot of emphasis over the years about making your social life bigger and better. I think the Food Festival is a very interesting event because it helps you see how the youth in Marine is becoming entrepreneurs. But then when you look, for example, at the spring of culture, it's a great opportunity to bring really local and regional talent. Bahrain is very focused on developing a pipeline of infrastructure investment. In total, we have about $32 billion worth of investments. We'll see projects materialize within the next three to four years. It 
it's part of a longer strategy and certainly it will provide work. It will provide also opportunities for foreign companies to work downstream, to be part of construction. We expect to have a large multiplier effect of the, the money being spent on these projects filtered through the economy. You only have to ask the investors that have been established here how much they've grown, how much they've enjoyed their presence here, and how lucrative it has been for them. It is one of those places where you choose to belong rather than to feel like an expat. You just feel very integrated. But if you speak to many of the expats here, that they moved thinking that they were going to come for a two-year contract and then they end up staying you know, 20, 30, 40 years. The one thing that I would choose above anything else in Bahrain is the people. They're my family. What you will remember in any visit is the people you've met, the impressions they left you with. And I think you'll find in Bahrain that friendly, approachable population that you'll make friends with, you'll remember and that'll stick in your mind with you.